Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm going to be talking to you about the BBC Microbit and how it can be used within DNC. Kitronic is one of a number of partner organisations that are delivering the Microbit to Year 7 students. So let's have a closer look at the Microbit. So let's take a closer look. Here we've got the 5x5 LED matrix that allows you to show uh, text, images, numbers and the like. Then we've got two buttons for user input and then down the bottom here we've got the expansion connector where you can either clip things onto the larger pads or you can use an edge connector with the smaller ones. On the business side of the board, down here, we've got the accelerometer. This allows us to detect tilting in three directions. There's a compass or magnetometer on the board and then there is a Bluetooth antenna and the uh, associated um, components to go with it. That's a, a Bluetooth light that allows you to talk to the internet. You've got the programming connector, a reset button and also a power connector. So there's your micro bit. So let's have a look at what we can do with this within DNT. This is mainly going to involve using the expansion connector. So let's start with a really simple project. Suppose you want to protect your micro bit. What we're going to do is we're going to use a standard buzzer and we've already put some crocodile clips onto here and what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up and we're going to look at some code that will allow us to protect using the accelerometer if somebody moves it upwards, sideways, that we know it's been moved and we can sound the buzzer thus preventing somebody from running off with your micro bit. So in terms of clipping the buzzer on, I'm going to take the black lead, I'm going to connect that to the pad marked ground and then the red lead, we're going to take that to the pad marked zero now we could use the pads 1 and 2, but in the software we've opted for, for pad 0. What we then need to do is open up the specific script, and there's a tutorial that explains all about how to do in this, and then we just click the compile button. Once that's compiled, we obviously need to connect the micro bit to the computer. I'm just going to plug the USB cable in to do that, and then literally it's just a case of dragging the appropriate um, hex file across um, into the, the, the drive. So I'm just going to open the drive up and then drag the hex file over. So now that that's transferred across, you'll see that nothing's happening at the moment. We just need to press the reset button on the back of the micro bit. So I'm just going to press that there and you'll see that it immediately starts to, to buzz and it's showing the text keep off. So that's the program into the micro bit. I'm going to leave it powered by the USB cable, but we could put the batteries in. And if I do try and move that, the buzzer sounds. So there we go. Simple tutorial on how to do something just using one output device. Here we've got a nice little e-textiles bag. And we've got the micro bit down the bottom here, which is showing a face. And then the eyes up here are connected using conductive thread. So if we take a peek inside the bag, you'll see that the connections are there and there's some conductive thread. And that's quite tricky to see. So what I've got over here is an example of what the inside looks like. So these are the, the clips that we've connected onto the edge connector at the bottom. We've got the conductive thread here that connects through to the two LEDs. And because it's conductive thread, it's completely flexible like normal thread, but it conducts like a wire. So going back to the bag then, what we've done is we've programmed this up and we've got some different facial expressions. So depending on what button we press, we get a different expression in terms of the mouth and the eyes light differently depending on that. So that's the e-textiles bag. Next we're going to look at a buggy. This has got the micro bit connected in through the edge connector. We've got a little breakout board and then a, a motor driver board so we can get higher power for the motors. And what this will do, when the buggy drives forward and hits something, it will decelerate and we'll pick that up with the accelerometer and it's then able to change direction. So there you have it. For more information on the micro bit and how to use it within DNT, go to kitronic.co.uk.